Hey, it's Eric here, and if you're just getting started in CAD, or maybe if you're just an intermediate CAD person, you might still be confused with how to set up that paper space, how to do your title block, and all that stuff. Notice down here we got the model layout 1 and layout 2. We're going to be working in this area down here. But before we start doing that, let's just draw a simple pipe run. So we're going to use MetQ for this. We're just going to select view draw and then put our pipe run in here. Turn on ortho. Come down 3 feet and over 3 feet and press enter. So now that we got our pipe run here, let's do a control A or select all and then type M for move and then just move this over here. And then P for pan and then we'll just pan down on this. Now let's look at this whole thing in paper space. So if we click the layout one here, we can see the drawing here on our, on our paper. Now, if we right click on the tab and go to page setup manager, we'll be able to see the size of this paper. I can modify this so I can use, let's say a Microsoft printer here, check my paper size here. I usually have this set to monochrome so that it plots out black and white. Everything else looks good. So we're just going to select OK and then close. I wanted to quickly pause for a second and uh, mention that I have a free three-page PDF that has all the keyboard shortcuts mentioned in this video, plus a whole lot more using the link below this video. So let's talk a little bit about what viewports are. If I type in MS for model space, that activates the viewport. You can see it kind of darkened on the outside. And then I can zoom in and out of that viewport. Now a viewport is like a hole through your paper which peers down into model space. Typically when the viewport is closed or when you type PS and you close it, you're essentially working in your title block area with your notations and perhaps even a dimension or two. But mostly model space is reserved for the drawing area has an unlimited amount of drawing space and it's where you create your schematics, your floor plans, whatever you're drawing one to one and typically you would dimension it and perhaps even note it up in model space and scale the viewport up and down uh, when you've got the viewport activated for model space. If I activate the viewport for model space, it's just a matter of typing MS. Now it's activated and now we can scale it. Now what I need to do next is select from the annotation list here what scale I want this to be plotted at. Let's just choose half inch for this example or we could even go a little bit closer. Let's just choose one inch. And then we can even turn the grids off just to clean it up a little bit. That's essentially all you have to scale your drawing within a viewport. So to close the viewport, we just type in paper space. Now the reason why we want to do this is we don't, once we get that scale uh, the way we want it, we don't want to mess with it. In fact, there's even a way to lock it if we want to. We can just do that over here and just say lock it. So in the next video, I wanted to continue on explaining scaling and then also talk a little bit about annotative uh, text styles and annotative dimension styles. So stay tuned for that. Again, make sure you take advantage of my free three-page PDF that has all the keyboard shortcuts mentioned in this video, plus a whole lot more using the link below this video. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.